any number, plus or minus zero, is still the number. Three plus zero, three. Negative five minus zero, negative five. Avocado plus zero, avocado. Anything times one is still the thing. Five times one, five. Negative four times one, negative four. Stinky shoe times one, that's a stinky shoe. Anything times zero is zero. Because nothing of something, well, that's just zero. For example, four times zero, zero. Negative 10 times zero, that's zero. A banana times zero, that's still zero. This episode is brought to you by snacks. Don't leave home without them. When you divide zero by anything other than zero, it's still zero. Because it doesn't matter if you divide zero into a million pieces, it's still zero. You can divide zero into halves, it's still zero. No dividing by zero. It's not allowed. I don't care what those wild-eyed physicists say. Negative infinity, positive infinity. It's undefined, you can't do it. Captain Scotty, we're approaching the black hole. Buckle up! 100 kilometers per hour, 1,000 kilometers per hour, 10,000 kilometers per hour. We can't take much more of this. Gentlemen, today we divide by zero. Yes, yes, of course. Keenum first. I'm Keenum. I've got one more for you, and then there are going to be two in the bonus section, so you can watch in the Greater Gators class. There's a link below. Just ask your mom, dad, Uncle Bob how to join. See you next time. God bless. But what happens when you have a fraction? Any number, as long as that number is not zero, when divided by itself, is still one. 3 divided by 3, 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 2, 1. A banana divided by a banana, 1. 1 centillion divided by 1 centillion, 1. You bet. It's the same thing as 1. I'm starting to think that any number divided by itself is 1. <laughs> Proof time with your host, Old Man Keenum. Warning, this is a mega ultra advanced segment. If a non-zero number A is divided by itself, A, then the answer is another number, call it B. That means by the definition of division, that A is equal to the product of A times B. So, when you subtract, you will see that A times a binomial, one minus B becomes zero. And since A is not zero, that means one minus B is zero, or B is equal to one. Thanks, Old Man Keenum. Ha! I'm regular Keenum. What he said at super ultra mega speed is if you have any number other than zero and you divide it by itself, you always get one. Welcome to the bonus section. Don't forget, when you convert a percent to a decimal, P comes after D in the alphabet, so you're gonna go back two spaces.